igneous rocks. Igneous rocks are one of the three main rock types, the others being sedimentary and metamorphic. Igneous rocks are formed through the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. There are two types of igneous rock, intrusive and extrusive. For an extrusive rock to form, first the volcano will erupt. The lava will come flowing down and about 30 minutes later, the lava starts to harden and turns into igneous rocks. The rocks we made here are made out of tell you about our school, St. Paul's. St. Paul's is the first South American school to be recognized by the UK government as a British school overseas. St. Paul's is 80 years old and there's about 1,400 pupils. While we're continuing with this tour, we'll explain how our experiment worked. The foam from our volcanic eruption is very special since each little tiny bubble is filled with oxygen. It is filled with oxygen since the hydrogen peroxide is H2O2. It's like water, but with extra oxygen. The yeast acted as a helper to, ex to remove the oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide and to create the bubbles. Plus, our volcanic eruption is super similar to a real one since it created an exothermic reaction. Hey!